box. Just received the package here. Boys, or <laughs> boys, BQ EYZ Spring 2. And uh, cable. So, this is uh, one of those linsole cables, it's 53 bucks. Thought I'd give it a try. Wow, it's very nice. Very nice feeling. Very light. And... Oh yeah, very nice. <clears throat> 2.5. All right. Well, I'll try this out uh, later. You guys know how I like it. All right. Here is the. BQE YZ, I don't know what kind of name that is. Spring 2. I don't know if that's an abbreviation or if that is supposed to mean something. Oh, let's take a look. Well, it's interesting. The box feels like it's some kind of fabric almost. Like if it was Kevlar or something. Oh, it's nice. It's like a little uh, book. Oh. oh, well, it's a very nice presentation. It's a nice box, too. I'm going to probably keep that for something. can see this okay yeah so that's the uh, <laughs> in the box there case oh wow it's a very nice cable I actually purchased a cable like this not that long ago yeah this is a very nice cable I like it when they do this I can't remember how much this was. I'll have to look and see. But, you know, it, it's not that much extra, right? I mean, I think I paid, when I bought this exact same cable, I think I paid like $23 or something. And it's a really nice cable. So, and it makes such a difference, I think, in the presentation and the way you, you feel about the IEM and the product when you get it and you open it up and you see they didn't they didn't chintz out and go cheap and it they provide a really nice cable to go around with, with the nice IEMs. So many IEMs I get that are, they look nice or they seem to be well made. Maybe they even sound great. And they send some cheesy cable with it. And I, I don't know why they do that, especially when they're so inexpensive nowadays. So anyway, that's a very nice cable. Um, nice little case. It's got foam tips and then some other, actually, so these kinds of tips I don't like at all. Not to say that some people don't like them, but the ones that are super flimsy like that, I I like them stiffer. They they seem to um, get a better seal in my ears. Foams work sometimes, but you know I'll, I'll test these and see. Oh, and they even say uh, atmosphere and atmosphere and reference. <laughs> okay, well we'll see if that's really true or not. Well, I can tell you, I can see the opening is bigger on the reference, so that would mean less bass and more uh, the actual sound coming out of the IEM. 
whereas these ones are a little bit tighter, which will increase this, the uh, base, typically. Okay, and then we have like a little cleaning brush. That's, that's nice. So, put that here right now. There's a little paper in here. Well, kind of a thick little booklet that is completely worthless to me. It's too small for me to read, if I can find English. I'm sure it's in there someplace. Well, maybe. Nope, it's not. No English. <laughs> okay. That's that's fine. I but it doesn't do me any good. And then there's this little qualified certificate that it passed QC. Okay, well that's cool. Alright, let's take these guys out. These are very pretty. Oh wow, look at that. Very nice. Oh, these are very nicely made. See if I can hold that up there for you guys a little bit. All right, well. I will get a review, well, I'll start listening to these and see if I can get a review done in the next four or five days, all right? Thanks for watching.